Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna go over 15 swaps that are super easy and I wanted to share with you my zero waste journey. If you wanna see more of these videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. So one of the first things that I wanted to swap out was my toothbrush that was made out of plastic and I went for a more sustainable version of a toothbrush. This toothbrush is 100% plant-based organic bamboo and it is non-GMO, non-toxic, BPA-free. One of the reasons why I decided to make this switch is because about 2 billion plastic toothbrushes end up either in landfills or in the ocean. So I wanted to find one that was compostable and before you compost it, you just have to take the bristles out. I usually just take a jar like this. This is actually a baby food jar. Now I'm looking to never go back to plastic toothbrushes. The next swap that I made was actually a shampoo bar. So with this shampoo bar, I originally have always used shampoo in plastic containers. And I just felt like that was just such a waste. Instead of that, as an alternative, I wanted to try out the shampoo bar. Lavender. This wasn't too hard of a transition. As you can see, my hair is nice and clean. I don't use conditioner or anything, so this is the only hair product that I use. I air dry my hair. Having something that is natural, such as this bar is really helpful. And that same jar that I showed you, this is the top of the jar. And I basically just put the soap on top of it to let it dry. It's also good for traveling because then you don't have to worry about the TSA requirements on the amount of milliliters you can bring onto a plane. The next thing I wanna show you is a charcoal sugar scrub. Instead of using micro beads, these are basically sugar and it works as an exfoliator for your face and body. Micro beads are used in facial scrubs, toothpaste, and cosmetics, and they are also sources of microplastics. These microplastics can act as food for the fish and for other sea creatures that don't know that's actually plastic that they're digesting. The next thing that I want to share with you guys are these reusable napkins. So before my zero waste journey, I would wash my hands and take one of those paper towels to dry them. That amounts to a lot of trash at the end. So instead of that, I substituted that with these reusable napkins. The original retail price was $16 for four, but it was on sale for $4. So seeing your clearance rack and seeing what type of products are on sale can also be very helpful. The next swap that I found pretty helpful, so these are stainless steel. These are the only straws that I have, but instead of using plastic straws, you can use straws and bring them with you to restaurants, cafes, and to clean it out. You can also use one of these. There are 500 million straws that are thrown out every day. So using straws such as this has made a difference because you're not disposing of those plastic straws that end up in landfills or in oceans. Next, when you're going shopping for your produce, instead of using those plastic bags, opt out for instead a reusable vegetable and fruit bag. I bought mine for about four bucks and it came with five bags that I use for my fruits and vegetables when I go shopping for food. You can either hand wash these or you can put them in the wash. The next thing is water bottles. This is a water container that I'm currently using. It is by Tomas. It's made out of stainless steel and it keeps the drink cold or hot and I usually pour it in on the top of the container and then I drink it. And sometimes I end up using a bigger container. The body of the container is made out of glass, but this is by Life Factory. The next thing that I want to show you are these mason jars. I bought 12 of these. Yes, 12 
for eight bucks total. They were on sale, but I usually fill this up with water, smoothies, dry goods, beans, and cereal. I take it with me when I go grocery shopping and when I go to cafes. Sometimes we have this perception that we always have to buy products to have this lifestyle, but Recently, I have just started reusing containers I see all over the house. So use containers such as Talenti ice cream, all those made out of plastic. You can place your pens in there or you can place things such as brown sugar. Before I recycle a container, I try asking myself, how can I reuse this container? So be creative. Not everything that you're using for the zero waste lifestyle has to be brand new. So keep that in mind. The things that you do have, just think outside the box. And easily scan your house and see if there's any reusable containers. Just make sure that they're safe to use, but otherwise they don't have to be brand new. Number 10 is silverware. Before I started this zero waste lifestyle, I was using a plastic fork and knife every day at work to eat my lunch. So that adds up a lot. I switched out to using silverware. So I bring a spoon, a fork, and chopsticks. And luckily, the coworkers that I end up eating with, they also made the switch too. Wrap it in something that's clean, such as a reusable napkin. I know that when I was originally wanting to buy a container just for my utensils, but then I realized, hey, I'm just going to use the things that I have. So I'm going to just wrap it in my napkin and that should be enough. Number 11 is to use a tote bag. I use one that's relatively large, but there are all other types of tote bags and I bring them with me almost everywhere I go. I know places such as Whole Foods, they give you 10 cents off for each bag that you bring. Most of the time, sea creatures such as turtles can see a plastic bag and think that it is jellyfish. So they end up digesting the plastic bag or at least trying to digest it. So just knowing that fact alone, I have decided to make the swap and to use something that is more sustainable and something that you can use um, year after year. Number 12 is to bring food containers. So instead of putting your sandwiches in plastic bags, try to find things such as Tupperware or glassware where you can put your sandwiches and other meals inside. Instead of using saran wrap, just put the lid on the, the Tupperware or the glassware. Usually when you have leftovers, they give you this huge styrofoam box and you put all your food in that box. The only problem is, is that styrofoam is not biodegradable. So instead of using their containers, bring your own and put the leftovers in there. So the next swap is to use a cleaner. This cleaner, you can just add some water, baking soda, vinegar, essential oils, or a squeeze of lemon, and you got yourself your own cleaner. You don't have to buy multiple products to do the same thing, which is cleaning. I've always DIY'd my cleaning products so I don't end up spending money on others. Instead of buying clothing brand new for every occasion, for every season, to go secondhand shopping instead by thrifting, I find that to be more sustainable and it also allows you to save money. Most of the items that you do find in these stores are lightly worn. In 2018, I didn't buy a single clothing item um, for myself and in 2019, I'm trying to do the same, but if I were to buy clothing, it would no longer be at a store that usually contributes to fast fashion. And the very last thing is to shop at bulk stores. There is a website that I'll link down below that basically can help you locate stores that are bulk stores. And I scan the grocery to see if I can make an adjustment on how I would normally shop to a more sustainable way of shopping. So that concludes this video. That is 15 swaps that you can easily make. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. 
and I want to document my journey going forward so definitely keep on the lookout for more videos and I'll talk to you guys later.